All right, welcome back, everybody. It is Malik, and we are going to continue the hackthesite.org basic challenges, and we are going to go into basic number three. We've done one and two, and now number three. All right, so uh, number three gives us a little message here about, of course, some intuition is needed to find the location of the hidden password file and we need some basic HTML knowledge. So let's get into this, see if it gives us any any more hints as to what we need to do. All right, so here we go. So this time, Network Security Sam remembered to upload the password file, but there were deeper problems than that. Okay, so in basic challenge number two, we found out that he did not upload the password file so we were able to get in without a password. Now this time he did upload the password file. Okay, now they don't give you a whole lot of hints here. The only thing you do know is that the password file does live on his web server. So we need to get to it. So by far the biggest hint that I can give you on this is understanding directory transversal. Okay, so I'll leave you with that and one more thing. Understand that what you see up here at the top is not always everything that's there. We are on, of course, hackthissite.org they have a folder called missions, they have a folder called basic, and they have a folder called three. And that's where we're at. But you see there is no page name here. Well, every page that you see has a name. This page name doesn't show up, and on a lot of sites it doesn't if it's the default page. It will be called default.html, or PHP or ASPX, don't worry about the extensions, but it will be called default, it would be called home, or it would be called, more often than not, index. So you don't see the page name there. So what we need to do is figure out how to get somewhere that we're really not supposed to be by using what they call directory transversal. It's a matter of either opening a file that you're not supposed to see or getting into a folder where you're not supposed to be. So Google directory transversal and understand it and we're going to use that along with what we used in basic one to take a look at this file. So remember basic one. So they're the two biggest hints I can give you. Remember what we did in basic one and understand directory transversal. Okay, so pause the video, take a look at those things. That should get you through this one. Okay, so head on off. You can do it. Figure this one out. This one's yours. Okay, so hopefully you pause the video and you realize that you can go up into that box up at the top, you can remove folders, <clears throat> excuse me, you can remove folders to back up a level or you can type in some other stuff that you're typically not supposed to be able to do. So he did upload the file. We need to find out where that file is at. Now again, remember I gave you that hint that we need to do the same thing that we did in basic one. Well, that's how we're going to start. So I'm going to view the page source. This is always a great place to start. Now I'm going to go down and there's a, there's a quicker way to get there, but uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. I'm going to go down <clears throat> and, and get through all of the, the junk up to where we go to put in the password. So here we go. <clears throat> this is the box actually that we typed the password in. It's a form. 
So it says, all right, missions, basic three. Uh, see, the name of the page is actually called index.php. Now, it's running a method of what we call post, which means we're going to put something in, we're going to send it to them. Here's the field itself. The input type, hidden. That's what gives us the little bullets. Okay. It's going to hit a file. Value password.php. And this just lets it know that it is a password field. That's what puts the that's what actually puts the bullets in there instead of the, the word that you type in. And he named the field password. And of course there's a submit button. This is our important part. Password.php. Now remember, up here at the top, we're actually on index.php. But what would happen if we just typed in password? Dot PHP. Oh, oh, look. There's an interesting line. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to back back out. Actually, I can just close that one because I have it open over here. And I'm going to paste it into the password field and submit it. Congrats! And see, so you see the index page now. So at any time, you're able to actually back out of things into other pages. Just as long as you know where you're going. That's called directory transversal. Alright. Well, very quickly, let's see what's in store for us for basic mission number four. An email script has been set up, which sends the password to the admin. Okay, well, we still need to have some HTML knowledge, and we have to have an email address. Okay, so this is a, a kind of a way, you know, when uh, users forget their password, it sends them an email. Uh, but what he's going to have is a button there that will send an email to him. And we need to use that button to where it sends it to us instead. All right. So, till next time, till we get to basic number four. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, let me know what I can do to to post some things on there that that you guys want to see. So, until next time, this is Malik, and I'm out.